Um, big, big congratulations to the team for this fighting spirit. Um, um, coming back after zero one half time, late goal, um, and then be mentally strong and uh, have the right team spirit to to turn this uh, result around. Um, um, I think uh, the, the boys run. But uh, maybe I mean to, to I will take it on me because. The way I was thinking in the first half, the way we should play, um, maybe it was a little bit too complicated and we had just some few days to train this. Uh, we adjusted in, this, in the second half um, with the build-up, with uh, Abdul Salis dropping and um, then to build up with three and um, to have our our wingers inside and our fullbacks outside to make crosses and um, our wingers inside so we changed the side of uh, Fatau and Kamadin so that when they get inside they can have some shots and then I think this really worked in the second half we had a lot of uh, shots on the goal a um, um, lot of um, good positioning also defensively much much better than in the first half and um, I think then at the end we deserve to win. Um, still, I think, like I said before, this um, Central African Republic have a very good team, very, very good on counters. Um, we didn't protect it um, our half well when we lost the ball. And this is really, really something which we have to improve on. But it starts with the, with the pressing up front. Um, so one is, is we have to put pressure on the player who's playing the ball. And the second thing is um, we have to drop much more not to get played behind us. Right, and before the uh, game, you said at your Premier press conference, you're always happy when you come here. That was a fantastic atmosphere. I know that pushed the team. What do you have to say to the massive fans? Yeah, like always, thank you. Thank you. It was massive. The support was massive from the start. Even though when we were 2 1 behind, they pushed up for us and um, we played better. Um, so, one, the fans, then also I think the rain helped us to play faster um, um, and to, 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 to have control and play fast balls. Um, so, uh, thank you to God for letting it rain. Um, it, it, I think it was uh, really, really good for our players. And um, yeah, thank you to Kumasi for always supporting us. Please make sure straight to the point, please. Okay, thank you very much for the opportunity. My name is Nana Prempe, uh, TV XYZ Sakra. Uh, your defense made a lot of mistakes in the first half. This is World Cup qualifier. There are mistakes, you don't do them, you get punished. Uh, I realize down on my uh, sixth row, who, who will provide the shield for the defense in the first half, we didn't see it. What happened? Can you tell us what happened? I said it already when you listened closely. We had problems up front and pressing the ball after we lost it. It was not that there was six thing. Then surely there were some duels which we would have won or should have won and the, it came to their favor. But what we have to improve is when the ball is open that we drop so that, we, that there is no space behind us. And when they play short we can press. This, it's, it's, it's Actually, when I say this, in theory, it's simple, um, but um, in practice, it's about recognition of the situation, recognition of an open ball, and then taking the right decision to drop. That's all. But, um, um, I mean, big, big contribution. For me, the positive stands over the negatives. And, and the second half, how we came back, how Jordan scored, how, and this, um, is one thing that I think um, we have to mention, the positive spirit. Despite being uh, uh, behind, away in Mali, and now here again, to come back, to be mentally strong, to come back. And this is also uh, 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 um, the reason also why I thank Kumasi, because they are supporting us. Even though we were behind, they were supporting us. And, and uh, like I said, big, big thanks to the team for having this mentality, this team spirit to come back after you're down. Yeah. My name is Yao from Junior GT Sports Plus. Coach, first question, what was the most important part of the game for you? The most important part of the game? Today's game. Today's game, that's the first question. The most important thing is the, the mentality of the players. The mentality of the players to believe in what I told them and how we should play and then they, they delivered. And it's so difficult. People, our players are coming from all different parts of, uh, of, of Europe uh, uh, and we come together and then we have to find the same idea. It's very, very difficult and very, very proud of the boys that they, they delivered in the second half.
Coach, uh, my name is Fifi Manfred. I'm going to love and ensure I'm going to be here again. Um, you spoke about the attacking transitions of the Central Africans. You spoke about it yesterday. We conceded from two goals of that. And um, I know you reviewed the footage, but just before that ball gets cleared behind our, behind our centre backs, two of our centre backs, I mean, I mean, Jiku and then Salisu, all of them were on the same lane, flat footed. I don't know who was supposed to be the aggressor. Who was supposed to read the situation to step into the midfield to um, make up that danger, but then that was something that I think I made me look at them. Finally, why did you opt to go for Fatal and then um, um, Kamadin on those uh, wings before you switch up in the second half? What was the idea? Because it didn't seem to get that result that probably you were expecting to get in the first half. Yeah, you know, um, it's always easy to ask why when things don't happen. Um, it would be also nice that if you ask why when things happen. So, um, you know, there are so many ways to win. We can also just bring in tall players and bring long balls. So, so many different ideas. And I had this idea and I saw it didn't work and then I changed. And uh, it was good for me to the, the work. Why it didn't work, I really have to analyze. So, like I said, I will take it on me. Maybe the idea was not good. I'll take it. Maybe I or not maybe I know that the players still can do better. Um, and um, at least we shouldn't concede, concede two goals in the first half. Um, and like you said, the, the, the problem is in, in, in practical if you're standing on the field, uh, if you are standing on the field, who should drop and who should stand on the man. And if the ball is very centrally, it's difficult. If the ball is one side, it's normally more the, the player who's on the side of the ball who steps up and the other will, will cover. But the balls were a little bit more centrally, and so the communication between the two defenders was not good. But we have to improve on that, and uh, we, will, we will have a look at it, at it and then th it will be better. Like but I said... The, the second half was brilliant. I just wanted to add to that. Thank you very much. You unfit. Thank you. To ask yes. the, question. the second half was brilliant. Everything was Thank you. Thank you. It's nice to hear something positive. Uh, good. My name is Sally Sani. I'm Husky Radio and SoccerCenter.com. Um, will you say Colombia's impact in the first half caught you by surprise, looking at how he was distributing the balls and then the floating balls. Will you say it kind of caught you by surprise, so that you are just in the second half? No, it's, it, it wasn't a surprise, we knew it. Uh, we watched so many videos um, about him delivering balls to Mafuta and uh, the, the, they scored the same way five times before. So, but, like I said, to talk about it, to, to even to train it, in theory, it's different. On the practical, practical is something else. And there we have to improve. But like I said, again, big, big compliment to the team for coming back that strong. Um, and um, for me, I focus much more on the, on, the, on the positive things we can find in every game. Even if we would have won 4 1 or 4 0 or whatever, I can find always negative influence. But please, let's try to focus on the positive thing we won. And the way they played under this pressure, one, two behind, um, the way we, not even the, the, the way we scored the goal, but the way we played throughout, and then also not allow too many chances was excellent. Right, so the lady then over a cramp of for then this gentleman that we are done. We okay. have time. Jordan wants to talk to us too, please. Thank you very much. My name is Florence Madola Ousu from Most FM Kumasi. Um coach, um latter part of the game Alpha, part of the game Charlie, you substitute all I think all the experience for the last year. Jordan talk of good news. Fatal, Fatal, who was making all the occasions for you, and this cost the third goal. Why? That is my question. The third goal. I, I took them off. Oh, Fatal, is it Fatal, you know how old he is. You know how old he is. How old is Fatal? You know how old he is. It's Twenty-one, maybe. He's not. He's not experienced. Yeah, it's not experience. So for me, for, for us, which is important, um, is to have fresh legs. And the problem is sometimes, especially when you play, you played four days ago in Mali, 42 degrees, um, a lot of stress on the, on the players, and there's a normal fatigue at the end of the season which comes to the players. And there, there's no choice, we have to, we have to change. And um, if I see that somebody it's getting a little bit slower, not putting up the pressure because then also 
they changed. They I don't know if you didn't know if you, if you saw it, but they changed some players and they bring brought fresh players and they changed their tactics also. So we also have to adapt to this. That's all to keep the to keep the the result. And um, I'm happy that it worked. The, 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 what maybe was just to say the free kick from uh, uh, Central African Republic was marvelous, really really good, but it was not a foul before, you know. It was not a foul, you know. It was just a normal uh, uh, duel, and um, for me, it was not a foul. I'm Ori Kapofu from TBT. My question is to Jordan and you. Uh, first of all, congratulations on the hat trick. Uh, I, 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 the straightforward question would be for you to ask how you feel about the hat trick, but I want you to go deeper, and I want you to be really honest with this answer. You've been through a lot of this national team. There's been periods where you've gone through droughts, you didn't score. When you finally scored, there were tears. I know the pressure that's been on you from the beginning of your Black Stars career. To tell you, first off, today you climbed up to the sixth highest scorer in the Black Stars history. So only five players have scored more goals than you for that. Did you ever think in those difficult moments, and even when you were starting your Black Stars career, that you would get to this stage scoring, becoming the sixth highest scorer for their country? And fans chanting your name today and singing your name at the Barbera Sports Stadium. Um, good evening, everyone. To answer your question, um, first of all, I want to thank God because obviously, like you said, it has not really been easy for me with the national team. But um, you know, I'm a, I'm a person I never give up. I work hard and I believe in my qualities, I believe in myself. And I'm believe in what I do day in day out and you know one day one day I'll be uh, how am I going to put it together one day or it will pay and at the minute is for some couple of games now it's been paying off but um, to be honest I've been playing out of position for quite some time in the national team because Obviously, in my club, I, I was playing out of position as well and in the national team, but it's not a problem for me because, you know, I just want to be on the pitch, I just want to play football, and I never, I've never complained or anything like that. But, you know, God's time is the best, and, you know, in life, you never have to give up. You just have to be patient and keep on working and believe in yourself, and things will, will turn out being positive. That's it. Okay, to the Central African Republic. Bonsoir, euh, Jordan. Juste euh, un mot en français pour euh, ma rédaction du sous les grands sabots Bozama, journaliste à Radio Nationale Centrafricaine. Comment vous allez trouver aujourd'hui l'équipe centrafricaine que vous venez de battre au Canada Écoute. Euh... Yeah, French. Speak French. Speak French. Yeah. Ben, écoute, euh, bonsoir. Bonne équipe, ils nous ont mis en difficulté. Um, match euh, compliqué, mais écoute. Euh, on a, on a, ils ont joué avec les, leurs forces, nous aussi on a joué avec notre force et le match s'est décidé à, à, à pas grand chose parce que écoute c'est 4-3, il n'y a, a pas vraiment de différence mais écoute c'est une équipe qui malgré la défaite d'aujourd'hui seront toujours là et il y a encore beaucoup de matchs alors je pense que c'est une équipe qui progresse et, et voilà ils nous ont mis en difficulté mais Sachant que nous aussi, on a une équipe qui est très jeune et on continue à bosser. Voilà. Right, so gentlemen, Bella, take the next Bella one. No. Right, then RFI, Little, and then Open Soul. Excuse me, sir. C'était un IRFI. La défense était là. Et on a vu aujourd'hui qu'avant le match, quel coup qui était obtenu à te rendre hommage pour avoir atteint les 100 buts, les 100 buts. Sélection avec les Blackstar. Ton sentiment Écoute, justement, je jamais pensé que j'allais arriver à, à ça. Et quand je joue, moi, je vis de jour le jour. Et je remercie Dieu. Je remercie ma famille qui, qui ont toujours été derrière moi. Je remercie mes, ma femme, mes enfants pour me soutenir chaque fois parce que ça n'a pas vraiment été facile pour moi avec l'équipe nationale. Et vous savez, dans, dans la vie, il ne faut pas lâcher, il faut avoir la foi, il faut croire en ce que tu sais faire et c'est ce que je fais. Et voilà, aujourd'hui, euh, des choses sont, tournent en ma faveur, mais c'est parce que j'ai mis beaucoup, beaucoup de travail 
auparavant, depuis que j'ai commencé avec la sélection, je me suis beaucoup sacrifié pour cette sélection. Aujourd'hui, je récolte les fruits, mais écoute, c'est pas quelque chose de... Voilà, c'est pas encore terminé, j'ai encore beaucoup à donner pour la sélection et ce que je vais faire euh, euh, à partir de, de maintenant.